In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the creation of a Dutch hip roof in Autodesk Revit. You can see that I already have four walls. I'm going to switch to my roof plan here, and I'm going to begin by creating the lower roof. I will select the Roof by Footprint tool, and for this one I'm going to choose the Wood Rafter 10 inch Asphalt Shingle. I'm going to use a 2 foot overhang. I'm going to confirm that my base offset is set to zero and then I'm on the roof level. And for this particular one, I'm going to use a cutoff level as it transitions from the lower roof to the upper roof. So I'm going to set my cutoff level to the same level, which is roof. But then I'm going to add in an offset value of four feet. I'm going to confirm that my rafter cut is set to plumb cut. Finally, I want to make sure that defines slope is turned on. Then I can simply come out here and select each wall to offset the roof line to the outside. By default, the slopes come in at 9 over 12. We're going to change it to 6 over 12. So I'm going to escape out of my Select Walls tool, then click and drag to select the four lines, and then I will adjust the slope value to 6 for 6 over 12. Then finally, I can finish this lower roof. When prompted, I'm going to go ahead and attach the walls to the roof. I'll switch to the 3D view to see what we have so far. Next, I'm going to construct the short walls that are going to go up here on my Dutch hip roof. So I will return to the roof plan. I'll select my wall tool, change my wall type to exterior wood siding on wood stud to match the other walls. I'm going to set my location line to finish face exterior. Confirm that my base constraint is set to roof and set my base offset value to four feet above the roof level. I'll set my unconnected wall height to six foot. Then I will simply come in and draw the two walls to the inside as shown here. Once more, I'll switch to 3D and we can see the two short little walls that we've got so far. Next, we'll create the upper roof. I'll switch back to my roof plan again here, and then once more, select roof by footprint. This time, I'm going to choose the pick lines option. I'm going to once again choose the wood rafter 10 inch asphalt shingle roof type so that it matches. I'm going to set my offset to two feet. Then I will set my base offset from level to three feet. And for this roof, we will not have a cutoff level, so I'll set that to none. I'll confirm that my rafter cut is set to plumb cut. Then I will simply come out here and select the roof lines so that they are overlapping the previous roof. Once again, I need to escape to cancel, select the roof lines, and adjust their slope to 6 over 12 to match the previous roof. I've adjusted the slope, but the two vertical lines here should not have a slope applied to them. This is what's going to give us that Dutch hip roof. So I'm going to select both of those and remove the check from defines slope. Then I will finish. When prompted, I'll go ahead and attach these walls to the new roof. Then we'll switch to 3D to take a look at it. So here you can see the beginnings of the Dutch hip roof. It was necessary to create the overlaps so that the roof looked proper. However, you can see the overlaps here, so we're going to use our join tool to clean this up. I'll switch to the modify tab, select join geometry, select the two roofs, and now you can see that the lines are cleaned up and we have a nicer, cleaner Dutch hip roof. That concludes this look at creating a Dutch hip roof in Autodesk Revit. 